going to cut the top of this ZR61 compressor open and see why this compressor is so damn noisy. I took this out of a ream 5 ton con condenser and it was very noisy. I think it's the old ham coupling that's worn out. There's something loose inside. So we're going to find out. It's had uh, liquid refrigerant probably come back to it through the, through the years. This is uh, what's left of the compressor blanket that was covering the compressor. It had a plastic piece in it that melted to the top of the compressor. But we're going to cut the top off. Check it out. wasn't that exciting but uh, only where we had was there some wear there was some wear on the old ham ring which is normal but it's been in for a while so there's a little bit of wear in here a little bit of wear in here I really wouldn't call it excessive the thing actually looks really good this bearing I got wear a little bit down in there. But the rotation device looks okay. A little, a little bit of wear in here. Not, not the major. Looks actually really good. But there's uh, three bearings. There's this one. This one. So one bearing, two bearings, and then the bearing at the bottom. So this compressor got liquid refrigerant back through the years this this top bearing is in bad shape I got a lot of movement on the rotor so what happens when you get liquid refrigerant back to the compressor it washes out the oil this is the first bearing to go the top bearings are the first to go the bottom one lives in the oil down here so it's not as bad we're talking uh, a lot of years here but uh, here's a rotor here so it, what happens when the bearing goes bad the top one or the bottom one or the one in the scroll basically the, the, these two that the rotor is going to tilt once the rotor tilts it's going to hit the stator and once they touch it's going to shave it like a snow cone shave the, uh, the rotor or the stator they're going to hit sparks are going to fly and then that the metal shavings will actually hit the hit these windings in here and it'll a spot burn burn through the varnish of the windings and cause the compressor to ground out or short so that's what happens a lot of times but uh so this one was running it was noisy but it would have went out eventually it was real noisy so that that rotor is about ready to touch that stator then it's it's all over at that point but uh, but that's it I just want to find out why it was, it was noisy but uh, yeah that uh, rotor is close to the stator as is once you start shaving those bearings once you start washing the oil out and they start touching down man it's all over so, alrighty, thanks for watching. So when a scroll compressor starts, it starts unloaded. What what happens is the discharge gas comes through the scroll, and then comes up this little hole right here so that hole is connected with the discharge side which is right there the 
discharge gas is going to come up that little hole on the left hand side and it's going to fill up that void or that valley below the floating seal and that discharge pressure is going to push the seal up against the top dome of the compressor yeah, but to have enough refrigerant enough differential pressure to pop that seal up so that seal comes comes up and it seals inside here like this so this is your that's your discharge so your discharge is coming through here it's going through here then out I think I said it before in the video if you have a low on charger restriction that 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 seals hit the top of this dome that's what you're hearing you don't have enough differential pressure to push that seal up against the dome of the compressor sometimes these seals can get stuck um, and your pressures will be equalized it'll go it'll not seat all the way down you have equalized pressures so you can have a you can have a stuck floating seal they do have a lip on here but uh, yeah that's how they start unloaded but uh, you can see where there's a ring around here the floating seal you can barely see that hole right there very critical.